Hello Sunshine and welcome back to Sunshine in My Code. My name is Suwa Khudubu Matape and in today's video, we're gonna be sorting some lipsticks. Sorting algorithms are actually one of the most underrated but really important uh, algorithms out there. And that's just because if you think of the way we interact with data, it being sorted is probably more important than it just being there, right? So if you think of your bank account, right, whenever you get a bank slip with all your transactions, imagine if that data wasn't sorted by dates, right? Then you were just looking at random transactions. It would just mean absolutely nothing to you because you could be viewing transactions from two years ago. It doesn't really help you with anything, right? So data being ordered by a specific measure or unit is really helpful, right? We're going to be talking about how to implement these algorithms algorithms and not so much about the technical actual aspects of writing the code but just rather the concept right because i believe with algorithms if you understand the concept it's really easy to start coding it or implementing it in a way that should suffice what matters is that you actually understand how the algorithm works here's my lipstick and it's unsorted right now so we're going to use bubble sort algorithms to do the first sort so with bubble sort algorithm the first thing we're trying to do is figure out if the lipstick next to you is brighter than you if the lipstick next to the previous one is a little bit brighter we're going to move that lipstick to the front and then we're going to do this for all the lipsticks and then we're going to come back again and check again and again and again until it's done just to keep this video nice and short i'm going to do just a few for this algorithm because it works it's easy to demonstrate even with fewer lipsticks what we're going to do is check between these two lipsticks right is this one brighter than this one Actually, this one's a little bit brighter. This one's a bit darker shade. And then we're not going to exchange those. And then we're going to go to the next set, which is this one and that one. And we're going to say, hey, is this shade lighter than this? Is this shade lighter than this shade? No, it's not. So we're going to swap them, right? Right? And this is bubble sort, right? Then we look at this shade and that shade. Which one is lighter? This one is darker, so we're not going to swap them. Then we look at this shade and that shade. And this one... Is actually a little bit darker this one is a little bit darker so we're not gonna swap them right so that is the first iteration of bubble sort and now we're gonna come back and do bubble sort again so we come back to the, and we look at these two shades now we've got these two shades and we look at them hey which one is a little bit brighter this one's a bit brighter so we can actually move them around and now we can look at between these two shades which one is a little bit brow brighter it's really hard to tell but this one looks a little bit brighter, so we can actually swap them a little bit. Uh, which one's a little bit brighter between these two? Nah, they're both the same. Then we're going to look at this one and that one. Which one's a little bit brighter? Yeah, they're the same. So now our algorithm is actually done sorting them, but it doesn't know that it's done, right? So it swapped something and it doesn't really know if this algorithm is actually still done and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the beginning of bubble sort and we're going to check right so is this one lighter than this one no it's not is this one lighter than that one nope and this one versus this one and this one versus that one nope and now that all the shades are actually now perfectly here are all the shades and they're actually now sorted and how we know they're sorted is because in the previous iteration we didn't have to swap anything, right? So bubble dust sort does do that extra step where it's checking for the last time if nothing was swapped and that's how it knows that it's done sorting the list of lipsticks. Now that the lipsticks are all scrambled again, we are now ready for insertion sort. So with insertion sort, you can imagine we're inserting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just create a new list so we're making space for a new list again and then what we want to do is we want to add these lists these lipsticks one by one but each time we add a lipstick to the new list we actually check for its right position in the list right so this is insertion sort so we're going to look at this lip color and over here and we're just going to add it to the beginning of the list because it's the only one there and then we're going to go to the next lipstick and we can add it to the list but then we realize that the lipstick next to it is actually a little bit darker a little bit not bright 
and then we can move them up like this so it's a teensy wincy bit a little bit sorted already so we're doing a bit of a sort but not a main overwhelming sort on the list and then we come with, with this color and we can check over here and say hey are you brighter than the first element on the list and yeah it actually is a little bit brighter so we can put it over here and then when you get the next lipstick and with the next lipstick we start from the beginning again and we go hey is this brighter than this lipstick nope it's not brighter than this lipstick is it brighter than this lipstick nope it's not brighter than this lipstick is it brighter than this lipstick yes it is and now we found its perfect position so as you see this list is progressively getting sorted and now i'm going to look at the last lipstick on the list of shades and we can now find its perfect position by checking against the first one again which one's a bit brighter this one which one is a bit brighter this one is a little bit brighter and now it gets a little bit confusing but you can see that this one is a little bit brighter so we're gonna insert it right over there now we've got a new list that is sorted and that is insertion sort how merge sort works is that we're gonna divide the array by half. Remember this is divide and conquer and how divide and conquer algorithms works is that you break the you break the problem up into little parts. You solve those little parts and then you use those little parts to get to your big answer. And that's essentially what we want to do with merge sort is that we want to kind of choose a pivot which in this case could just be right down the middle. And then we're gonna divide this list into little pieces too. And then we're gonna divide this one too. So this is all happening recursively. So as you sort this one, you've got another method of sorting this one and they're happening at the same time. And that's what makes it a little bit faster. And then what the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna split this one up too. And then we're gonna split these two up. We're gonna split these two up. We're gonna split these two up. And then we're gonna recursively split these ones up too. And now we have successfully, you can't see all of them, but there they are, all sort. Sorry, yes, there we go. So now we have like um, partitions or halved divided all our lipsticks into individual shades. And then we're gonna start doing a smart merge. So this is where the merge and sort kind of comes in together and how we piece these together is gonna help us get to the solution, right? So. You've got these two shades, right? And what we're do going to do is we're going to compare these, right? These two, which one's a little bit brighter? This one's a little brighter, so it's going to come here. Between these two, which one's a little bit brighter? This one is a little bit brighter, so they're okay. And then between these two, which one's a little bit brighter? This one's brighter, so we're going to do this. And then what we're doing is we're kind of like soft merging them. And then we're going to look at these two, which one's a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit brighter. So we're going to keep them like that. We've got a list of lipsticks that are in their own little circles sorted. But now what we're going to do is we're going to merge again. So the same way that we merge these two together, we're going to manually merge these ones, right? And how we do that is we're going to say, is this one brighter than that one? Potentially, yes. And it is brighter than, is this one brighter than this shade, which is the last shade from the previous list? This one's a bit brighter. And now that we know that these two are brighter we can just put these here right now we've got a list of four shades that are perfectly in this little subset they're perfectly sorted and now we've got another list of shades and we're looking at this two and we're gonna say hey is this brighter than that one no it's not brighter than that one so this one can come over here and then we're gonna look at this shade again and say hey is this shade brighter than that shade and this one's a bit brighter so these are going to come here and then the list with leftover parts it doesn't have to sort itself again because it actually already sorted itself as it was merging through so it's going to come over here and then we're going to bring this baby over here so sorry i forgot about you and what it's going to do now is going to merge in with this list with this list of shades and it's going to come over here is it brighter than this one no it's not is it brighter than that one no it's not is it brighter oh my word there's this two list of shades that are exactly the same i'm going to just put them here so now we've got a list of two shades over here and we're going to look at the lightest the brightest shade on this list and the brightest shade on this list we're going to see which one of these
and that is the moisture algorithm so i have un unsorted the lipsticks once again for the next algorithm which is quick sort so with quick sort what we want to do is we want to partition it again the same way we did with merge sort. choose a half most of the time it's in the middle but you can make it wherever you want uh -huh. so we choose a half and then we can choose a pivot right so a pivot is what we're going to call the center shade and this is when you've picked the correct pivot it's kind of like the middle shade but a lot of the time you may not know what a middle is and so you just choose a pivot randomly right so what we're trying to do is we're gonna go if all the shades on this side if any of them are lighter than this shade then we're gonna put them on this side right and if any of the shades on this side are darker than this shade we're gonna put them on the other side so that is a soft cert a soft sort in a way that we're sorting around this element right so for example we're going to look at this this shade and go hey between this shade which one is a little bit darker so, right this one's darker so what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here and then we're going to go over here and look at this list of shades and hey hey is this actually darker or brighter than this and the same thing for these two you can kind of see that they're all a little bit uh, less bright than this shade and then we're going to come look at the shades that are already here right and then we're going to go hey which one is a bit brighter this one is not brighter so we're going to put it over here in this list and this one is brighter than this one this one is not brighter than this one this one is brighter than this one so now you've got this array it's split by two and it's split by this pivot right so at the end what you have is shades that are brighter than this shade and bright shades that are less bright than the shade right so now it's a soft sort and we're already sort of dividing it right so we're partitioning it like we would in merge sort but we're as we partition it we also kind of sort it around the pivot that we've chosen and then now this one is in its perfect position in this list right we're going to do the exact same thing with this array we're going to choose the middle array right and then we're going to do the same thing with this one we're going to choose the middle array and then we're going to sort all of these around it right so we're going to look at this shade and say hey is this shade a little bit darker than this yes it is so we're going to move it to the end of that list and now that list looks like this all right this is a pivot and then we're going to look at this shade and say hey is this shade brighter than this one it's not brighter than this one so we put it over here so now what we have is we have these two shades together and this one is the brightest shade in that list so it's actually at the beginning if there were any shades brighter than this there'd be some shades next to it and then recursively what is happening remember this is our first pivot so it's actually just let me put it a bit back so you can kind of differentiate and then recursively what's happening at the same time is that we've got these kind of this list and the initial pivot was this shade and then we're going to do is we're going to sort this little situation over here around this pivot right so we're going to look at i'm going to start off with this color and between this color and the main pivot which one is darker this one's a little bit not very bright and then we're going to get these two shades which one's a bit brighter this is brighter so it's going to stay on this side and then now we've kind of got that second group which is you're already seeing that it's a little bit better sorted than where merge sort was at this stage because this is the second stage of partitioning the list right and now what we're going to do is we're going to break these up too right so we're going to have a list of these two and then we're going to see which ones how we can partition that right this was our initial pivot we can actually move it right here it's perfectly in its position and what you will see is that all we have to do is merge these they are already perfectly in their place and that is how we quick, quick sort yeah i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my creativity if you did remember to subscribe down below hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you can be a part of the notification squad and also please like the video i really appreciate it and share it with your loved ones thank you so much for watching sunshine in my code